All right, here we go. I removed, well, I, I took the rocker cover off. So I've removed all the three bolts there. And there's like a breather tube there. And also these tubes here. The rocker cover obviously sits on that and there's a gasket goes round there. Um, and that's that part of it. The next stage, need to take off the power steering pulley well with mine there was a allen key in the middle I didn't have that size but fortunately there's a threaded um, stud in the middle there and I've used a bolt to put that in there to hold it and then you just need to undo one two three allen keys there obviously hold it tight with that um, now the uh, pulley's removed, obviously put it in a bucket so you don't lose any parts. There's the bolt I used that went through the middle to hold it. Um, also it's got a handy, it's the belt. If you see there, like that's all perished anyway, so I need to do the timing belt and all the other belts. See it there? It's all perished. Um, now, I've got a spanner on the end of the crankshaft and you rotate that around and on this side as you can see there's a slot there we just get some bits of metal and that's a locking locks that in place and then if you can see right down there you've got the timing marks just about let's get a torch Can you see it? There's a thing there, and also I've marked the um, cog, the actual flywheel, with um, some paint so I can see it. Um, I'm just showing you there with a screwdriver. There, it's all there anyway. There's the entry hole, so you can see it. Right, next you need to lock the injector pump. As you can see there, there's a hole there. And there's a slot in there. We need to lock that. So I've got this, or well, that there I'm using. It's got to be something about 7 mil. Hug that in there, like so, and then see that with a camshaft locking, locks all the gears and everything in place, you don't lose the timing marks, you see, like that, like that. Also, <coughs> you need to um, undo these bolts, there's one there, and one there, that loses the alternator, belt and then push push that in then and then we need to get this off that's the water pump pulley now I had nothing to hold it in the middle because some weird thing there but what I managed to do I wedged a piece of wood from here like that and then got the allen key on the bolts there and as you pull the allen keys around obviously I've wedged that as hard as I can on there and that um, stops the pulley going around and you can release the bolts right you need to take the um, alternator belt off that connects to all this 
circles round there. Also, you need to take the flywheel, uh, not the flywheel, the camshaft pulley off. And these bolts put some WD-40 on them. As you can see, they're turning now, but I'm going to replace them because they've burred off a bit. So it is quite difficult to get them out. As you see, they're all a bit rusted in. I'll, I'll undo all four of those, and then I shall pull the pulley off. Also, just give it a quick whack, loosen it up with a rubber mallet, like right. like that, and then that's off. Then exposed, and you need to take the um, bottom camshaft cover off. It's a bolt there, and one here which I'll pre-loosen the 10 mil like that see that covers off now also another little tip to stop the um, flywheel going round I've wedged it in the timing mark hole with some two screwdrivers plus with the plate on there as well stopping that go around then obviously the timing marks can't move at all I'm just I mean it might be okay but I'm, I'm replacing it anyway so I'm, I've took the nut off of there an 18 mil I like had to wedge it there like that wedge it up Okay, what I'm doing, gonna look get to get the belt off. I need to loosen the timing belt tensioner, and that's a 13 mil socket on there. So once I do that, the belt will come off. But in the meantime, I've took the nut off of there, which is an 18 mil. I had to wedge it, wedge the pulley up with that. Took the nut off. I'm gonna remove that pulley because I need to get all these. Um, to get all to all these bolts which is the um, water pump and while I'm at it I, I thought well I don't know how long that's been on there I'm going to replace the water pump you have to drain off the radiator but there's the water pump I've took all the bolts out of here all 10 mil loads of them all the way around now I'm just going to give it a slight tap with a rubber mallet See? Gives it a loosen up, bang, and it's out. See, I'm going to replace that anyway. Might be okay, but the new one come comes with a new gasket, so I'll put all that on. Right, okay. Put the new pulley on. As you can see, it's like a a lug thing there. But there's there's a at the top there. There's a, a hole for that to go in, so make sure that goes in there, like so. And then you just put the nut on for now because we're not tightening it up. With the new um, water pump, put the bolts in all the way around, do them hand tight, and then when you do them up, alternate, so like pinch that one that one like alternate across so opposites just keep pinching them like in the opposite direction so they're all tight all right next stage is to slide the belt over all the cogs carefully going over the teeth now I left the top one till last and now I've got that on there it's a bit like doing a bicycle tyre I pushed one of them in there and I sort of levered it like that up on the thing and also you could also use one of them then it won't damage the belt either I sort of just ease it on levering it around but I as I said I put all the all the belt all the way around around the tension I haven't done the tensioner up yet left the last bit to the top started to put on that side and this is the last bit and then had to lever the last bit on and then what we do in a minute is then tension the belt up because obviously it's loose on there 
Right, you now need the tension, the pulley, and you need one of these special tools. Right, that goes in the pins there, see it? Two pins, look. There. And that's how you tension it, and you need a 13 mil to go on stage. You need to put the um, two bolts, one there, one there, it's the lower timing belt case and after that you need to put the flywheel pulley back on and I've painted mine up but as you see there there's little locating pins there there's one there so when you put the, the pulley on you need to locate that first now I've painted up my pulleys, um, another little tip though, when you tighten them up, alternate them, keep pinching them up like opposite, like that, put the Allen key in, alright, a little tip is you put the ring spanner on the, the end of that and you can get more purchase, you can grip it like so and then do it up to give you that purchase. Next thing to do is to put the um, drive belt on, or the alternator belt, and you put that over, and you put the water pump pulley on, um, same again, do them up alternately, keep pinching them up, and also I've put a piece of wood which I put pressure on to stop the pulley going round, and it doesn't damage it, but you have to put quite a bit of pressure on that to stop it turning. Next thing, we put the uh, power steering belt on and the power steering pulley, and that's there. So I'm using the spanner on the Allen key to give it more purchase, but alternate with them, keep doing them up. And I don't know how it does it, but the belt eventually it tightens as you tighten all these up. So that's good. Now we've got to tighten the um, alternator belt and. Because we've done these up earlier on the alternator, as you release them, you can see the tension. See? Tension on the belt. So, you loosen that up. That's tensioned up. And I'll do them, that nut up. And the one up there, that's 13 mil. And then that's done. Okay, next stage. Mm is to put the rocker cover gasket back on uh, then the rocker cover itself like so then the rubbers they go over there and you put caps over that, like so, and you do the all them nuts up, and then we put the breather tube here. That all goes back, connects up. <coughs> 